Hey guys, this is Mark here from pixelfiendtech.com and today we are going to be doing a review of the Manfrotto MH055M8 Q5 Fluid Video and Photo Tripod Head. Now that is a huge mouthful to say, but um, this is actually a really, really good tripod head. It is very high end. It's almost in the kind of professional end. You could use this with cameras like the um, C500 and things like the Sony FX. Um, range so this is certainly a pro grade uh, head and sadly the price does reflect that this is not the cheapest but you definitely do get what you pay for so in this video I'm going to be wrapping up a review for you of this tripod head now first up I'm just going to cover what it does so this is a tr uh, fluid tripod head so if you don't know what that means it's so you can get those nice smooth pan and tilt shots with your camera Currently, I'm just using this with a DSLR, but you could use this with more professional kind of camcorder type things. Um, pretty much every camera will work on this. This um, it also has a photo mode, which I will go over later, but the fact that it kind of puts them both into one head is certainly very good. So this has some fancy features on it. So the main one is the CBS or counterbalance system. So this basically means if you have a heavy lens sticking out the front your camera would constantly fall down like that now the counterbalance system will push equally in that direction so that the camera stays still in the middle and doesn't kind of fall over which of course you don't want if you have a huge expensive lens you don't want that lens falling down and breaking now this does come with a few kind of accessories so we of course have the pan bar which you use just as a bar to rotate um, that is a fairly basic feature that you do expect in most fluid tripod heads. We also have a really actually, I didn't think much of it when I took it out of the box, but it's basically a clip that will fit onto the leg of your tripod and you can take the pan bar off and put it on there when you're not using it and this makes it a lot easier to travel with. Um, I used it when I travelled with it and it was unbelievably handy and to be honest, I, I definitely underestimated it. It is certainly a very nice feature. Now, this is, as I said, a photo and video head. Now, I explained the video a bit, so it's fluid, so that means you can get those nice panning shots, which I will give you some examples of at the end. Now, the photo part is basically, you can actually get your camera like this and tilt it round like that into portrait mode if you want to take portrait photos. So you can just be taking video and then move into photo mode and take some portraits. Now this is really handy because, um, for example, say you do photography and video and uh, you're going away one week on a photography trip and the next week on a video trip. You don't have to buy two tripod heads, you can just use this one, um, whereas before you might have bought um, a decent video head and then just handheld for photos and got some shaky shots. So. It's certainly ace that it um, includes both those features. I'm coming from just a photo head before this. This is my first ever fluid head and I really am loving that feature. Now this also locks up as you would expect so you can have it really smooth and then you can do friction control to control how much you really want there and then you can completely lock up for steady shots on a tripod like this so it will be safe to use um, if you're using it steadily or if you're going for those moving b-roll shots. This also has very, very impressive build quality. Now, that is certainly um, something that you really need and want in something that you're paying this much for, because generally, if you're paying this much for it, you've likely also paid quite a bit for your camera. And if you've paid a lot for your camera, you're not going to want a flimsy head that'll just break. So this is a sturdy, sturdy head, and it will, um, it should be able to cope with pretty much everything. Now the downside of that is it does make it heavier which does make it harder to transport. For me that's not really an issue but if you're looking to travel light this may not be the best head for you. Now the video, the fluid kind of video mode is absolutely brilliant. Um, some of the fluid shots you can get, I'll just pop some up on the screen, they really improve your video um, if you add these shots in. For people on YouTube, tech reviewers like me, putting in these really smooth shots make your videos a thousand times better. They make you look much more professional and I would highly recommend a fluid tripod for anyone out there in the video game. Now this, as I said, is very, very smooth. The build quality is very good. And to be honest, my only real complaint here is the actual weight of it and possibly the cost if you're on a bit of a budget. 
Um, for me, I actually got this as a gift, so um, I was very happy with that. But this is certainly a very, very, very impressive um, tripod head. It is one of the more pro-level heads, and it will certainly last me for a long time. Manfrotto make some very, very good um, quality products, and if you couple this with a nice video tripod, you have the start of a very, very good setup. Um, so I would recommend this to you if you would like to buy it. There will, of course, be a link in the description pointing you where to get it. So um, check out that if you are interested. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a share, and why not subscribe to my channel for more content. If you've got any questions, just leave them down below in the comments or email me at the address in the description. Thank you very much for watching. See you.